Yo, there's, hey, there's my boys. boys. What's, What's up, up man? fellas? I miss you, Dabble. James, I miss you, bro. You looking rough. What's up with that look beard? At, look at this thing, dude. Look, I haven't, I haven't wow. shaved my beard in front of this. I got hairs going Your mustache is going into your nose hairs. God, bro, Holy it's a whole, it's a whole ass. That's rough. That's rough. Look, my part's not even there anymore. Like, what's up, bro? We need this thing to get going. Caveman style. Look, I'm a little hairy, bro. Dog Yo. struggling. <laughs> What's up? What's in what, what's in the bag? I got some. Hang on. We've talked about these several times, but getting your hands on them is a whole nother deal. Yeah. Right? What'd you get? This, this shit released like right, I guess right before stuff started getting crazy, you know? Yeah. So it finally came in. Oh. I know what that what is. is. That? Hell yeah, man. Rainbow yeah. box with the paste of paper. Yo, there it is. That, that paper's yes, dope. It is cool, right? You're a jack boy. Bam. Mm. Damn, bro. Those are so clean. Travis Dunk, man. Travis Scott's Dunk is finally released. That shit is fire. I got a pair. These are going Love to them. feet. I'm not selling them. I'm going to rock the hell out of them. I'll probably skate right around in them. Yeah. Those I'm, I'm taking off these. I think I'm taking off these ropes, though. You going to take the rope off? The rope kind of looks I think good, they, look, they look kind of cool, but I'm just... I don't know, maybe I'll wear them like that for a little bit and then try something else, but I've never been a fan of the ropes. Even when they first released photos, I was like, I'm not yeah. a fan of the ropes. A lot of people love that feature. I'm just not huge on it. There's the other color that, options. That, yeah, there's, there's butter pink, on it. There's pink and black. Yeah. So I might do those. Yeah. One of those. I bet you one of them looks really good. If not, I've got some white SB laces that I know will look really good on there. There's all Boy, kinds of stuff. you start talking about other laces from other shoes, you put the ones that are meant on there, damn it. I don't know. I ain't that much of a you know, you know, it's, you know it's, what looks good. You know what's crazy is how soft that whole thing is. Like, it's so well put together. It people is, were talking, people were always talking about, like, what's the quality the like, Matt? Like, you're not taking A1, that. Man. You can't A1. take that paisley off easy. You got to skate those off. That stuff can't, no, it ain't coming off easy. That's, nah. that's like, it's like car hard, man. That stuff's hard. Yeah, hell yeah. That's fire, Matt. That's a good pickup. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's he. I want to see pickups. What'd you get? So, peep, I got two things. All right, two. So we'll start off with these, with these joints. I finally went out and made sure that I got what? these. The Syracuse yeah. Dunks. Lows. Yeah, yeah, these things are fire. Uh, they released a while ago, but I didn't really uh, try too hard to get them. Um, I knew I had a homie that had them for me, so I went and uh, and and picked up my pair. Uh, and I gotta tell you, like the for a simple basic shoe. The it's leather nice. quality on this is super nice. It's really soft. The color palette is, is awesome. I, I really the white and the, and the and the orange just go really well together. And I mean, it's got yeah, Frank Ocean like, vibes, man. Channel it's a, it's a, such a simple shoe. The Dunk itself. So I mean, it's just it's just a classic. It's a very it's a subtle classic. orange. It's not it's really classic. bright. Hey, do, do you have any uh, affinity toward the the Q's program? So, or is it just you like the colors? Yes, as a matter of fact, I do have an affinity towards Q's, and it, it's all started in 03, really. It's because I'm from Denver, so oh, like, I know in you're going. our retail, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Carmelo was playing at Q's, he was leading the championship, he had the big old smile, and I was, you know, I was so worried that yeah. he was gonna win the title, uh, and then that the Nuggets weren't gonna be able to get, you know, have a shot at him, and then he went ahead and won the championship. I was excited for him, and then I thought, there's no way we're gonna get it. We ended up with the third pick overall. There's no way Pistons pass on Carmelo. And they passed out Carmelo and he ended up with the Nuggets. So since then I've been a Cuse fan. So I like Cuse, so I'm supporting them. That's but awesome. my other pickup is because since we've been quarantined and locked down, like I've regressed into a child, right? Me too. You know, I've always been that way. Welcome to the you know, club. Yeah, no worries. So I, I bought like yeah. a, a hockey goal, like a net, and you know I got my stick and puck. I'm out there shooting, trying to get the neighborhood kids to, to try to play goalie for me for like six feet out. Uh, but then I went out, I'm like, I have all these SBs and I gotta put it to the test. There's a skate park right by my house that I never go to. So I went 
I hit up the homies at Magnolia and had them put together those skateboards. Look at you. Yeah. What? With, with the Spitfire joints. Look, what kind of trucks are those? Shop right now. That's awesome. Look at that. It's actually been worn. I, I took it around the block. I took. I made. I made Kylo, my dog, pull me for a little bit. Not the whole time, but some of it. Uh, How many times did you fall? Oh, man. Not none yet. Knock on wood. I haven't fallen. You haven't yet, fallen. But, you ain't fallen. You ain't skating. Well, hey, I, I, hey, man! Some of us are better than others. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I had to. You know, what I, mean? I needed, I needed something to keep myself entertained. I was like, why not? I'm gonna go. I might as well keep it going. When we're done with all this, we're gonna go skating, James. No, we definitely are, mm -hmm. Dad. But because you said you could uh, skate in those loafers, and we're gonna put it to the test. We're gonna do a bunch of things Ooh, outside the shop. I can't wait. Yeah, you can shoot. Who? We gonna find out. We're gonna put all that to the test. But anyway, that's what I brought. Alright, so we both picked up some cool shit, but Matt, what time is it? Red, dad, or bad. Yeah, boys. Those of you who don't know yet, this is our segment where we go through sneaker releases and we group them into one of three categories. Is it rad? Is it cool? Is it something that you would wear? Is it dad? Not so good. Kind of lame. Kind of square. Or is it a fad? Is it something we'll look back on in a couple years and laugh? Let's discuss. Let's do it. Kick us off. Alright. Very first, I'm actually very excited for this one. Can't wait to hear what you think. Yes, me too. The Nike SB Ben and Jerry collaboration, the Chunky Dunk. Ooh. Oh, so sick. So super, sick. I'm going first. Super That's drippy. Sick. sick. Yeah, I am a fucking fan. Everything about this shoe is so tight. It's weird. It's, it's weird and it's weird. You know what I mean? I just love it. It's, it's loud. It's got the, it looks like a like an ice cream cup thing i don't know you know i'm into it I'm yeah it looks down. like the little the little cups yeah it, it's rad rad yeah. all yeah. day what do you think dapa i think it's super drippy i think it's creative whoever put that together so yeah. that's a cool collab man we were talking dapa about cool says collabs. Rad. That's one. yes yes hey real quick though do you, do you think if you hit that shoe are you gonna wear it around yeah, i mean i hope so or just, just I, I don't i don't know because i think i'm just i would I'm gonna display it that's special man it's it's interesting like because too. you're absolutely right, Matt. The, sh the shoe is crazy, and I think it looks cool. Uh, so I I don't know. I, I mean, I swear I hope I can get two per, uh, so I can rock one and, and, and put one on display. Two but per. We'll see, man. We yeah. we'll, we'll see. I I, I I I can sit here all day and tell you I'm rocking, but who knows? All right, let's move it on. How about a uh, shoe that just dropped today, I believe. It is a women's Jordan 4 Rasta. I think the actual name is Do The Right Thing, but I think Rasta is much more fitting. It is a white four with some yellow, red, and green hits. It's got a Rasta vibe to it. What do you think about this one? It, yo, dead ass, 100%. That shoe is rad, bro. I love it. I think it's so cool. I saw it Do The Right Thing, and one of the reasons, I mean, I didn't have to, I didn't need that movie to fall in love with the with the cement uh, fours, but this thing, I mean, it's just, it's just cool. I love the black laces with the white and then the little green hits and everything, the, the Rasta design. I, yo, I got some socks that don't match it. I'm, it's a cop. It's a cop. It's rad. I bet you do. What do you think, Dappa? Oh, uh, I'm a big fan of the old school speckles that they, that they finally did. I don't think it would be cool on me. I think it'd be cool like on someone like James or you, Matt, but... Rad for sure. I think it is rad, but not rad enough for me to actually purchase. I don't think it's something I'll actually go out there and buy, but I can look at it. It's cool. Yeah, it's nothing crazy, but it is cool. I like it. It is cool. It's yeah. interesting because it's a girl shoe. It's not even a dude shoe. So I wonder what the girls think about it's that. It's a women's shoe, know yeah. what you think. Yeah, because I want to know what you guys think as a, as a man. I, I think you guys, they gave it to you on this one. This is a good one. You, I don't know if anybody else hates it. Uh, but I thought it was dope. You know what I mean? Rad it's a fire well. shoe, man. It's a fire yeah. four. For sure. Yeah, facts. It's dope. All right. Let's move on to our next. Next one up. The Yeezy 350 Linen. Matt? <sighs> boring. That shit is boring. You kidding me, Kanye? Here we go again with just recycling old... Pieces of other shoes, Talk or, to him, Matt. you know, changing a tone by just a couple couple of clicks on the spectrum. It's just, it's just, it's hasn't this shoe so, been made three times already? Get that out of here. Talk Next. To him, so is it a fad? Next. It's not even a fad. I'm not even giving it a 
qualification on my list, man. Just get that shit out of here. Quit. Make something cool Sweet. like you used to. So you Who's said it's next? bad. Yes, it's, it's bad. bad. Devla? Who's next? I think it's rad. I like it. Holla. I would buy it. Yes. I would buy it and I would rock it. So rad for Dapper. Uh, James? I mean, it's a subtle, it's a subtle colorway, but Matt's absolutely right, dude. It's the same shit. It's the same recycled junk. I mean look. <laughs> it's just a different it's just a different tone of yellow brown. Yeah. It is. I mean, look, it is. They, I, I would probably really like it. Uh, at least the colors if I hadn't already seen it a thousand times. Uh, I'm just over it. I'm over it. I'm done with the 350. Uh, I need something else in my life, Kanye. Please, can we move on from the 350s and the 700s? So for me, it is an absolute fact. Next up, we got an oldie but a goodie. You know what it is. Coming back, we got the Jordan 6 DMP. You know yeah. what it looks like. It's black 6 with gold hits. It is clean. It is back. James, what do you think? Bro, I mean... Do I even to say it? It's, it's rad. It's absolutely rad. It's a six. It's black. It's gold. You know, the OG pack, I had it sitting right here on with my 11s. 11 and six pack. I, it's it's dope. It's awesome. It's perfect. It's I love perfect. the 11 I'm glad now, it's man. What about you, Dapper? I'm a big fan of the infrared six. It reminds me of the infrared six, except with the hints of gold. It's pretty identical. Uh, I have to say it's rad. I'm a big fan of the six. I think it's rad, but once again, it's a shoe that I probably wouldn't buy. And the only reason is because it's a lot like the infrared, and the infrared for me just had too much black on it. I don't know. When I when I dress it, I just just not for me, man. I don't know. I, it's cool though. I think in that pack, the 11 was the star personally. The six, I've never like I said, we've talked about it before. I've never been a huge fan of sixes as it is. While this one is a better six and it is rad, it is not my favorite by any means. Still pretty cool though. Better than the other stuff. Three rads. All right. What we got next? Yo, so the next one up just was announced today. It is the Nike, uh, the Nike SB 420 for 2020. Oh. Yeah, and we're not talking about the uh, the other joints that we've already seen. These are purple, and I don't know if you guys have seen it, but I, I don't even know how to describe it. But it's got 420 and a one on the one we've seen. So that leads me to believe that there may only be 420 of these. These may not be the ones that officially released that we may get a chat at. I think it's a reverse skunk, right? That's what it is, a reverse skunk? Yeah, I think, I think, sure I it, think is. it is the reverse skunk, but yeah. I don't know. I mean, what we can call- But it's, 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 it's got that real tattered suede all over it. It's, it's something else. I'm not a smoker, but I've always loved the 420 shoes they do. I think it's, it's cool, it's fun. Uh, it's always some cool themes that come out of them, and I think this one's no different. I think it's rad. It is cool. Skunks to this. That's what we rad. think. I, if it's the one that I'm thinking about, gentlemen, it reminds me of a big Barney. I yeah, love that's the one. you. Yeah, so that's rad. The one. It's hey, rad. But there are two dropping. There are two dropping that on 420. Is, there's that, a there's that a that wider release. To the next one, yes, sir. There's, there's a wider release, and that one is called the Strawberry Cough. Which, Ooh. so I used to be a smoker, and when I was a smoker, strawberry cough was a big deal. It's a strain where you hit it, and it's strong, and it makes you cough, and it tastes like strawberries when you cough, and it really does. And so they have a shoe with the strawberry theme. It's got a cool insole on it with a little strawberry on there. It's it's wild. Once again, very cool shoe. Um, I like not it. Not so much for the content, but it's just it's just cool. It's it, cool it, is, it is cool, but is it rad? Is it fast? Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. For sure, it is rad. Yeah, it's, it's weird, it's weird. I love weird shit. That one is a shoe I would probably buy to display because I'm not rocking a, a strawberry on my foot. All right, next up we got the Yeezy 700, we pronounce this minivan. M-N-V-N, I believe that's right, Min, mini, yeah, minivan. So they got two new colorways coming out. So we've seen a couple already. We've got a phosphorus, which is like a crazy green color. And then we've got more of a simple bone colorway, which is sort of just a off-white color. Um, different colorways on these. What do you think, gentlemen? Rad, dad, or fad? I'm starting off bad. Bad, he said. So bad. Don't like him at all. Don't like him at all. What do you think, James? James? I don't even have to ask. My, my history with the 700 is well documented. That shit was a booty. And not booty-licious. That thing sucks. It's so lame, like why? 
can we stop with these fucking shoes already? Like, no, they're bad. All right. So here's where I'm at. For me, not, personally, I think 700 silhouettes are right. It's not a problem. I think that these colorways had potential. If the sole wasn't so black, I would have liked to see some color in there like he's done on the uh, on the back of the other 700s where you throw some hits of color in somewhere just to break it up a little bit. And I think that they could have done something here that would have, for me, had me probably like this thing and appreciate it a little more. So for me, I'm going to have to say fat. Next shoe up. This one, this was a good one. Uh... I've heard many names for it, but it is the Nike SB Low. Some call it the Hennessy, but I think the actual name of it is the Blue Ferrari. Yeah, I've heard it called Blue's Clues as well. Yeah. Either um, way, whatever you want to call it, it is want. rad. It's fun. It's cool colorway. I love it. It's, a, it's just, it's a wild ass color, and I'm a fan of it. Rad. Facts. Dapper. Rad. Yo, the shoe's so clean. Like, that's such a nice blue. I really like it. Just in general, I mean, yeah. it, it's, so, Nike SB it's has so. continued to do really well with its GRs. This isn't even like a mass release, or this is a mass release. It's no. not, it's not some, like, your people have a shot at this one and it's not going to be crazy at our price. price. So, as far as I'm concerned, it's, it's, it's rad and I'm going to put it on that skateboard. Yeah. For sure. And then dropping along with that is another SB. I'll probably get this name wrong, but Muslin? 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 I don't know how you say it exactly, but it's basically a cream Muslin. colored. Muslin? I don't know. It's cream colored SB with a. I don't even define this color. Burgundy ish, red ish sole. It's cool. The oh, sole whatever is dope. it is, it's cool. The it's sole's cool. dope. Well, hey, yeah, the sole what? kind of sets that one off. I realized I screwed up. The, 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 the Blue Furries people call that the hypnotic, not the Hennessy. They call this one the Hennessy. Oh, correct. Oh, I can see that. The hypnotic because of the blue. This one's the hen dog. It's the hip and the the, the hip hot, the hypnotic and the, and the Hennessy. Okay. What do you think about this one? It's rad. It's, it's rad. Gotta be, right? It continues on with Nike SB's uh, is use of creams. Last, uh, I mean, we've seen like the trucks. We've seen the Reese. We've seen the brown packs. You know what I'm saying? So they, they use brown really nicely or khaki really well. Uh, which I'm, yeah. you know, I'm a fan of that, and I know you are. So, yeah. so to me, that that shoe was absolutely rad. Okay, so we've got another 350 here. I just have to look this one up because I get confused on what all they look like now, and I had to go back and look at this one again. What are, this what, is the Yeezy the 350 East Refill. East Refill. I saw what all the names meant. Someone had posted it, and I should have kept it up. But all, these names all have meaning to them. This is the East Refuel. Sounds like Israel. I imagine it's got something to do with that. Didn't we already have uh, Israel? Yeah, we had a Yisrael. It's like this. Israel. I don't know what he's, no one knows what he's doing. But anyway, it's basically a gray 350 with a tan stripe. So, Reverse of the wind. once again, I feel like we've been here before. We've done this dance a couple times now. And it's not that I hate the shoe. I'm just kind of over this line of 350s and these 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 colors. I'm just over it. So I'm just ignoring it, pretending like we didn't even have this conversation. I just, let's move on. It's a fad. Like it's funny because even now, like putting, I can't. I feel silly putting on any of the 350s that I still own. Uh, so like the more, like a clown. Yeah, the more these drop, I'm like, why are we still doing this? Can we just like can we move on from these so that we can come back and reappreciate the 350? Because right now it's just it's a fad. It's just a bad fad. All right, let's keep it going. What we got next? Next up, continuing along with Yeezy, Yeezy Slides. Built a lot of Yeezys on this. He's been heavy with releases here lately, man. Those Thank Yeezy you. Slides are ugly. And I think the material is dog shit, man. They're hard as a rock. There's nothing redeeming about them. It looks like a crock, basically. You know, what it, you know what it reminds me of? You guys that's will a, appreciate this. It's, a, it's a very Texan thing, but it reminds me of a kolache. A kolache? Yeah. How? This is a big old round ugly thing with your toe popping through. It just looks like a kolache. All right, so we, we can all say these things are pretty bad, right? Bad. Okay, so what do you think we're going to have next on the list? You uh -huh. guess? Yeezy, you'd probably be right. So we're talking about another Yeezy. This time, the Yeezy Zebra 350 is restocking again. I don't know how many times this is, four, maybe five. I've lost count, but this shoe is still rad. It's now, the it best is. 350 
I think he might have ever made. And I love zebras, so I'm okay with this one. I'm rad as it gets here. Dappa did his homework. You see this? He even brought him out. Hell yeah, Dappa. Bring him out, bring him out, Dappa. Uh, look, this is a shoe that I still have the first two releases from. I like black and white, fine with it. I'm, but I don't know if I'm ever gonna get to the damn things, if I'm being honest with you. I'm just kind of over it. I'm over I, I wish it would stop so I can like pull them out and feel like I found a like a treasure in my in my collection. Instead, I'm just just getting more bullshit and just kind of, I can't even see myself wearing it, but I like having it. So congrats to Man. the next round of people who can get theirs. It's a rad, it's a rad shoe, but in a fad situation. We've seen college football teams do this thing where it's like, uh, I'm going to keep running the same play until you stop me, and they just keep running it. And I think that's kind of what Adidas is doing here. Like, just run the zebra play again, man. If they ain't buying this other stuff, just run it again. You know, keep running it until they stop buying it. Those keep doing it. That's an interesting fact because that leads me to the next part of this episode. Uh, perfect segue. You like that? That's professional like that. right there. So in order to stop Adidas Yeezy, it is rumored... That, well, at least we know Kanye would be okay with Nike releasing the Air Yeezys, both generations, one and two. That means we'd see the Blink, the Zens, the Solar, the October. What's up, Rad, Dad, or Fad, Matt? I hope this is true. This is the raddest thing I've heard in a long time. What does concern me is, although Kanye may say that, his actions say different because I believe that he bought the trademarks to the names of the shoes which makes me believe that he'd be okay with Nike doing it on their own terms without some of his inspiration. So maybe, the, I know that he trademarked Red October for sure. And when it comes to that shoe, so I don't, I don't know what would happen if they did it. It would probably be a little bit different. Either way, if it, it's relatively close, that is rad and I love it and do it. Just do it, bring it to us. I mean, if, there, if there's a Yeezy I would love to see come back, it would be his, his Nike run. And I think you're right. I think in order to shut, uh, like shut Adidas Yeezys down, Nike could do the could. I don't need to, but I think you're you're absolutely right. Uh, whether they would do it with Kanye, I don't know if they have to pay him royalties or if this would even work out. Uh, but they may do what know. they did with Dion. You know what I'm saying? All they did was when Dion had his own diamond turf, they just took his face off of it, changed the name, and, and uh, took his name off and just called it the diamond turf. So they may release a shoe that looks just like it. Call it the you know the the dinky instead of the blinky you know what i mean like whatever yeah. uh so who knows but they may take the yeezy off the back or his inspirations but then is it still a, is it still a yeezy you know what i mean but he says he's down for it if, if, if this is and this is just from his side no who knows what nike thinks about it. they may tell him to shove it uh but i'd awesome. love i'd love to see it I, i'd love a pair of all all, all six of them yeah, that situation famously broke down and was not uh, left with good terms. So we've got our last shoe here, and I'm going to butcher the name of this one as I try to read it. Nike Air Kikini Cage with the Zoom Spiridian Cage 2. Did I get all that? Yeah, That's a did. mouthful. That was good. So the shoe itself... It's a spirit on. It's a you, you see it here on the screen. It is... I don't know really what it is, but I like it. It is rad to me and I'm not really sure why. I'd never seen it before, right before this episode. You sent it to me, said, what do you think about this one? I'm like, I, I like it. First impression is I like this thing. What do you think? Well, it continues Stussy's collaboration with Nike with the Spirit On. So it's basically the same shoe uh, that we've already seen them drop. It just has that weird, uh, the weird Kuni, the cage. The cage on it. The cage on it. weird that's, cage. It like weaves all around the yeah, thing, man. It's I, like I think that. It's almost like a Presto. Yeah, like a pencil yeah. or like a, it's got a weird webbing on top. I'm, I'm all for it. I'm down. I like it. I, it's rad. It's different. It's weird. I'm, I'm a fan. I'm into it. Okay. So, so rad, <laughs> Matt. It's gotta be. It is rad, man. Dappa. Love it. So there we go. There's some nice spring 2020 April drops for you all to digest. Give us your opinions down below. I want to see what you guys think about these. Yeah, yeah. Let That's us, what we got. Let us know if we were right or we were wrong or if you know, we making ourselves sound like assholes. But either way, uh, that brings us to the end of this. Thing.